Hi, in this video I will explain IUPAC nomenclature of amines. But first, let me explain what do you mean by amines. Amines are organic compounds that are formed when at least one of the H's in ammonia is replaced by an alkyl group. If one of the H's is replaced by an alkyl group, then this is called a primary amine. If two H's were replaced by alkyl groups, then this is called secondary amine. If three H's were replaced by alkyl groups, then this is called a tertiary amine. Amines can have common names in the form of alkylamine. Like, if I want to name the first structure, it's going to be called as butyl amine. In the second structure, we have two alkyl groups. We have ethyl and we have propyl, and we have to name them according to their alphabetical order, and the name is going to be ethyl propyl amine. In the third one, we have three alkyl groups. We have methyl, ethyl, and propyl. So the name is going to be as follows, ethyl, methyl, propyl, amine. And the last one, we have two methyls and one butyl. So its name is going to be butyl, di methyl amine as you noticed the first structure we have only one hydrogen of the ammonia is replaced by an alkyl group so it's an example on primary amines the second one we have two hydrogens were replaced by alkyl groups so it's an example on secondary amine and the third and the fourth structures are examples on tertiary amines since all the H's were replaced by alkyl groups. But in this video, I'm going to focus on IUPAC nomenclature of amines. So let's start with the important part. To use IUPAC nomenclature to name the following amine, we have to look for the longest chain. The longest chain is as follows is made up of four carbon atoms so it's going to be called butane but instead of writing the E we write amine and since the amino group is connected with the first carbon so we're going to call it one butanamine in some books or videos they name it as follows butan one amine both are accepted in IUPAC nomenclature of amines. Let me name this structure. The longest chain is also made of four carbon atoms. So it's going to be called butanamine. And since the amino group is connected to the second carbon, we're going to call it 2-butanamine. If we want to name this amine, we have to look for the longest chain, which is going to be as follows. And here, the amino group has the priority over bromo group. So we have to start counting from the right side. So this is carbon 1, this is carbon 2, this is carbon 3, and this is carbon 4. So the name of this amine is going to be 4 bromo and the amino group is connected to the second carbon so it's going to be called 2 butanamine let's have a slightly more complicated structure if i want to name this amine we have to look for the longest chain which is going to be this one and we have to give the priority for the amino group 
and you are going to start counting from the end closer to the amino group so this is carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 carbon 4 carbon 5 and carbon 6 we have three substituents we have ethyl we have methyl and we have chloro we have to name them according to their alphabetical order we're going to start with the chloro 5 chloro then we have 2 ethyl 3 methyl and 1 hexanamine A opaque nomenclature of amines can be used to name secondary and tertiary amines. In the following example, we have a secondary amine. How to name it? We have to look for the longest chain, which is going to be as follows. And here we have two substituents. We have ethyl and we have methyl. And we have to number the carbons in the longest chain from the end closer to the nitrogen so this is carbon 1 carbon 2 3 and 4 so the name of this amine is going to be as follows we have n ethyl since the ethyl group is joined to the n then 2 methyl and the longest chain is 1 Butanamine. Let's try to use a pack nomenclature to name this structure. You may pause the video and try to solve it yourself. Then continue the video to check if your answer was true or not. To name this amine, we have to look for the longest chain which is going to be as follows. Here we have three substituents. We have ethyl joined to the nitrogen, methyl joined to the nitrogen, and we have methyl joined to the longest chain. We have to number the carbons in the longest chain. It's carbon one, two, three, and four. So to name this structure, the name is going to be N ethyl. Then we have N comma three dimethyl because we have one methyl at carbon three and we have one methyl at joint to the nitrogen. And the longest chain is going to be one butanamine. Try to pause the video and name the structure. Here, the longest chain is going to be as follows. We have ethyl, methyl, and chloro. And we have to number the carbon atoms. This is carbon 1, carbon 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we have to name the substituents according to their alphabetical order. So we have 3 chloro, we have N ethyl, N methyl, and the longest chain is 2 pentanamine. How to name a structure like this where we have two amino groups? As usual, we have to look for the longest chain. This is the longest chain. And here we have two amino groups. If you want to number the carbon atoms, if we start from the left, the amino groups are going to be at carbons 2 and 4. If we start from the right, the amino groups are going to be at carbons 1 and 3. So we have to start from the right. 
So the name is going to be one comma three and the longest chain is butane diamine. How to name this structure where we have two functional groups. Here we have carboxyl group and we have amino group. To know the priority is for which group we have to refer to the chart that shows the order of these functional groups. As you can see, most of the functional groups have the priority over amines. So here the priority is going to be for the carboxyl group. And we start numbering the longest chain from the end closer to the carboxyl group. This is carbon 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here the amino is going to be named as a substituent. So it's going to be as follows. 3 amino and the longest chain is butanoic acid. This would be our last example. Here we have three functional groups. We have carboxyl group for carboxylic acids. We have carbonyl group for ketones and we have amino group. The longest chain is going to be as follows. And according to the priority chart, carboxylic acids, they have the priority. So here we name the carbonyl group and the amino group as substituents. We have to number the carbon atoms from this end. One, two, three, four, and five. And the name is going to be four amino, two oxo, and the longest chain is pentanoic acid. I hope that you liked watching this video. Please check your understanding by solving the individual questions. If you like the video, share it with your friends and write me a comment. Thank you.